Hold on now. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Here to join me for the journey. If you're headed for the next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. Um, sure, let's go to Hammerlock. They say two's company, after all. When I say I have to go do errands, I mean I have to go pick my latest shipment of cocaine to put in my tea. Everybody just thinks it's flour. Murloc. Always such a dusty town. Though, I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Alrighty, so we have gone and gotten our fifth gym badge now, so the sixth one is going to be off in the opposite direction from Hammerlock then. Wait, Pokemon are fully restored after gym battles, aren't they? They are. They are indeed. Okay, yeah. I think that's about all the story progress that I'll be making for now. Running, 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 running. But maybe I'll see about catching that Ralts that I was talking. Ooh. Come to gawk at me now that I have my challenge man taken away and my gym challenger status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Of course. <laughs> well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me, after all. I'll have you know, though, I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help with the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Hmm, that boy. Now, that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward, yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. It's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. She could ask him to be the gym leader. Time for my gym mission, child. What? <laughs> pink. Pink. And pink. Congratulations, child. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's creepy. Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You are Yusbe Oleana, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish when she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you... Are you testing me? Very well. I accept. In fact, Plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you need to know. Or everything you need to know about the wishing stars. Or right, dang it, I keep misreading. At first I was like, tell me everything you need to know. I was like, wait, I got that sentence wrong somehow. Make sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Well, well for now, child. You should head to Sir Chester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7. Now that was a creepy look from Opal there, right over his shoulder. That's a look like, I smell some drugs on you. I'll tell if you don't share. I don't know why I keep going to heal. <laughs> but yeah, you're gonna call it a day, Anima. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. And yeah, I'll, I could reach out to you on Discord to let you know, hey, I can get a freaking Galarian Honita for you. I assume the gender doesn't matter if you've beaten the game and you can just breed one of any kind anyway, as long as you have won. I assume. Ancient city of Hammerlock. Beat is the Ferdinand of this game. Sure seems like. But yeah, as I was saying before, I guess that's all the main story content I'm gonna be doing for now. We'll go to the next gym next time. So for now, maybe we should see about getting that Ralts to put into the team because because I can't get Smeargle in this game, Gallade is like the next best option for a Pokemon catching Pokemon because of Thunder Wave and False Swipe. Another good move for catching other Pokemon is Inteleon with Soak, which makes the opponent a water type, which at first sounds like it would be useless, but False Swipe has no effect on ghost types. So Inteleon would have to use Soak first. So if I do go around catching Pokemon later, I'll just have Inteleon relearn Soak and then preferably have a Gallade to come in and attack afterwards, or to use Soak on like a Rock-type or Seal-type that's resistant to 
normal type moves like false swipe stuff like that you know so soak is useful for that so i like having soak false swipe and thunder wave ideally what pokemon do i want i don't know i do have both games there one that i was looking through the list of available pokemon and i one of my favorite pokemon from previous generations that is available is my Lotic if you've already beaten the game. Which I hear appear in like heavy fog or something. Apparently it's a weather pattern that only appears when you beat the game. So I was like, dang, I can't do that. If Eevees are Riolos or whatever. Now I did actually get a Riolos in Pokemon Shield recently. So I'm already set there. I do already have a Eevee there. I could get an Eevee on this file. But if it's trade between Shield and Sword. And you're a sword instead of my sword and you're a sword. Then... It'd be trickier to get over here. Hello, Mother Mania. Hello, hello. We're doing mighty fine here. We just got the fifth gym badge. And we are about to do some Pokemon catching a little bit. Hope things are going well today. But yeah, I, I don't really need anything specific. Not exactly. Don't have to go out of your way to get anything. Got Feebas and you can breed it. That works. <laughs> yeah, dog cam, indeed. You can see her on this camera too a little bit. Just the little patch of white, the black kind of blends into the couch. <laughs> but yeah, I might look for a Ralt, a male Ralt for a Glade for False Swipe and Thunder Wave. But yeah, whenever it's late at night and the doggy gets sleepy, we can have a dog cam. So let's see here, actually. Pokemon, Sword, Shield, Serby Ralts. It's a deal. Alright, you sounds good. Sounds good there. Where do I find this thing? Because this is that'll make my perfect Pokemon catching Pokemon, considering I can't transfer my actual perfect Pokemon catching Pokemon Smeargle from previous games. So Glade is the next best option. So let's have let's see here. But yeah, have a good night, Anima. So let's see here. During fog, apparently it's like heavy fog is the weather that you unlock after post game. So regular fog is probably, probably fine. Does Cerebi differentiate between heavy fog? I wonder. Like I know, for example, my Lotic only appears during heavy fog. So if I check my Lotic for spawn patterns. Well, let's say heavy fog here. No, it just says fog, so I guess that's the weather pattern I haven't unlocked yet, so I have to go for overcast then. Do I only wake up in three to four hours? I don't think I'll have the ponytail by then, but soon-ish then. All right, rolling fields area two during overcast. And rolling fields. Only 2% chance. And it has to be overcast. All right, I wonder how I can change the date and time to force overcast weather. So where's rolling fields? Where is that? I'm looking for a Ralts right now, Tom, because because since I can't transfer over my Smeargle, that's like the next best option for a Pokemon catching Pokemon for Gallade because it can learn False Swipe and Thunder Wave. Unfortunately, I can't transfer over my Smeargle. It knows False Swipe, Soak, False Swipe, and then like something else. It's like Yield Block or something. Could breed one for you? I'd appreciate it. A male Ralts so can specifically become a Gallade because... Yeah, apparently Smeargle's not available in this game. And Smeargle's like the perfect Pokemon catching Pokemon. But because that's not an option, I feel like the next best option is Gallade. To help go around catching Pokemon. As well as be a decent addition to the party there. <laughs> Probably be easier than running around trying to find one here. Apparently I still haven't been to these two areas in this game. I know I have in Shield version. And you have a Galady, you can breed it too, Anima. Yeah, I think I'll probably be going for one in Sword version here. And... Though maybe I'd get one in both versions anyway, because it'd be good to have one in each, a Pokemon catching Pokemon. But as we're actually coming along on the journey, it may as well just be one game instead of both. No more Gallade is guaranteed to spawn, but I think he's 60. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's a bunch of Pokemon like that that only spawn at that level, like, after you've beaten the game. Like, depending on the weather patterns. It might not be Gallade, I don't know. 
but it might only be after you beat the game. But yeah, you should probably go get some sleep there, I know. And I can't catch Pokemon up to six yet. I only just did the fifth gym. Only just did that one. Now I have to go to the sixth one. And I guess the seventh one is there and then that's the eighth one or something? I don't know how it works. I don't know what it is. Town over here, Spikemuth. So many routes over here. Seventh is east of Hammerlock. Yeah, that area over there. Oh, Spike Myth is seventh. Oh, so this one must be the eighth then? This must be the eighth and final one, and then this is just the... Whoa, then why is there... Oh, wait. Sorry, for some reason my head, my brain malfunctioned and thought that seven was the last one, so that's the eighth one there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is Hammerlock again. You're right. I forgot about that. There's that one there. Wait. So this is sixth. That's seventh. This is eighth. So what's this one here? Finals or something? I don't know. Maybe. Guess it is then. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, where's rolling... There's rolling fields if it's overcast. So, I mean, yeah, if one's bred, that'd be super handy. If not, I can try to find one here if it's overcast. I might be able to change it to a certain weather pattern so that's overcast. If I look up what conditions for that are. Oh yeah, also, I'm pretty sure there's a Dudo over here. I could probably breed one in a couple of minutes already. That'd be really handy. <laughs> also, while I was messing around in Pokemon Shield earlier, I was exploring around this area. Wait, not this area. It's actually an area much farther over here. I realized that there's a dude over here. For some reason, I thought it was over here. There's a dude, like, over here who can give your bike upgrades, as I found out. If you give him watts. So let's go talk to that guy, because I would very much like a bike upgrade. I would like that. Let's shake the tree. Let's shake it. Shake it really good. Boopity bop. Shake it more. Okay, quit from there because it's starting to shake more. Cool. Whee! Oh, there's an pheasant. My oh my. Alrighty, so there should be a dude over this way, I believe. I'm getting messages on Discord, apparently. Tootles. Oh, uh, yoink. Wait, I said yoink. Yeah, I don't have enough watts for a lot of upgrades. I should go to some of those glowing parts. So yeah, this guy over here. Oh, I see you have a bike. Oh, there's a fantastic little game called the Rotom Rally. I would just love to see you participate in. Yeah, improve my bike. Yeah, give it a turbo boost. Yeah, and shield I could afford two boosts out of three. I can't even afford the second one here, though. This time. Also, what do these other ones do? A makeover. Change the color of your outfit. Match the color of your Corviknight? Oh. Flying type color? Oh. Jolly good, jolly good indeed. You've picked a wonderful color. How about steel type instead? How about that? Steel type color. Oh yeah, how about that one? I like that one. Then my watch, what does he have? A few things here and there. So let's try this Rotom Rally. The Rotom Rally. Where do you want to go? East Lake Axwell. Push for the finish line while snagging the big balloons. Okay, I haven't done this before. The big... Oh, I see them. I see them here. Whoa! So it looks like that gives a speed boost of its own. Whoa! Oh, it's like Mario Kart hitting a banana peel. My oh my. Here we go. So it seems like the bike upgrades might not actually do a lot here since you get speed boost for hitting the balloons anyway. Like, you get... You may as well do your own manual speed boost there. There's not a lot of time to boost speed in between the things here. Oh, come on! Look out! Somebody poke one in the way. Woo! Garbodor, stop spawning in the way you are. Skedaddle. 
This is actually pretty interesting. I must say. This way. Oh, is my speed boost not up yet? Oh, now it is. I heard the sound thing. The audio cue. Oh, Mudsdale. My, oh, my. Woo. -hoo. Finish. Harmonious score. Start. Giants can't finish. It's like Axwell. Cross the finish line. Congratulations. Feel free to try again anytime. I know that's the first road on rally you successfully completed. Here's a little souvenir for the occasion. Just as I was talking about it earlier, I'm going to need that for a uh, Pokemon catching Gallade. <laughs> I'm going to need False Swipe as well. I'm not sure where I get that. I might have already gotten that in Pokemon Shield and then forgotten where I pick it up from. I don't know. Okay, let's go to those dens. Because I got to get more things. Hammerlock, you think, for False Swipe? You might be right. I might even have it in Sword here. I think I already got it in Shield. I might have gotten it in Sword too. Let's see, is it in sword? If I... Whoops. Let's uh, see here. Do I have a false swipe? I don't. I'm pretty sure I picked it up in Pokemon Shield version, just not sword version, I guess. Whoops. Hmm. There's a Krabby there. Because, yeah, false swipe Thunder Wave. Way to make my life easier. Yeah, I could try to find it in Hammerlock there. Yeah, I don't need to do that right now. Not part Oh, come on! Timple. Tiny little Timple. It's hailing. Okay, I don't like seeing that prompt of a nerve every single time I go into battle here. Maybe I should swap someone else up front. Make things a little bit speedier. Like that. Just like that. Get a tiny mushroom real quick. Okay, how do I get over there? How do I get over that way? Oh, there's a Pokemon with one of those weird aura things. I looked up what that is, and apparently it means like three perfect IVs, and they typically have an egg move. Interestingly enough. Why oh, stay away from me? I got a tree to shake. I got a tree to shake here. <laughs> shake it more. More. More shaking. I'm gonna quit. Nice, nice. Does it give you watts when you beat or capture? Oh, the raid battle Pokemon? Uh, it's been a little while since I did a raid battle. <laughs> Woo. The glowing ones? Oh, the... The dudos there. Fancy apple. The yellow ore dudes. Woo! An apple here. Stay away, Timpole. And Electric. I don't see any max raid battles. Here or there. Grass and poison. That looks like a Roselia, but is Roselia grass and poison? I thought it was just grass. Hmm. Oh my goodness, there's a shifty shift tree. <laughs> is Roselia. Huh. For some reason, I had in my head that it was just grass for some reason. Shake it some more. I don't know, one more time. Dang. <laughs> just a squab it. It's of it. Whoa, there's electricity on the field. Electric current. Wonky. Got away safely. Oh, well. Galarian form is also poison. You think? I didn't know that there was a Galarian form. I didn't know that. Guess I could go Ewing stuff from these dens. Whoops. You know if there is. Doing some small energy from the dens. Hmm. Never heard of that before. Oh, there's an item over there I can yoink. There's some spooky ghost type Pokemon. So yeah. Soak on Inteleon would be handy to have. 
for capturing ghost types so that false swipe can actually hit them. This is what we can do. If only Smeargle was available in this game. Because then he would know false swipe, soak, spore. I might have said thunder wave the last time I was talking about Smeargle. Spore is 100% guaranteed to put the opponent to sleep move. A Woobat. And a Deli Bird. And a Snowstorm. Oh, look at the Deli Bird. <laughs> he knows it's almost that time of year. He's getting ready. It's a Hunter. A spooky Hunter. So many Deli Birds. So many of them. Three berries in one shake there. It's still not shaking rapidly, so I'll keep on shaking it here. It's still not shaking rapidly. Okay, now it's shaking rapidly. I'll quit. Nice, nice. So many baddies. Oh, there's an item here. I survive. More items. So, pff, I don't know where that deli bird came from. It came out of nowhere. I already have a deli bird. At least in the shield version. I might be getting confused. Yeah, I don't have deli bird captured yet, actually. I know I have one in shield version. And I keep getting these two games confused. Keep getting them confused in my head. Oh, is it? I wasn't sure what that was at first. The Krabby. Just saw orange. Energy trickling out of the den. Whoa. Let's see what's here. Got four Ralts eggs just working on hatching now. Nice. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, let's see who's in this den over here. Do you have the oval charm by chance? Or whatever the thing is called that like speeds up egg hatching? Because that's always a handy thing to have around you too. Good. Handy to have. I really like all the different weathers that they have here. Oh, it's more egg spawning. <laughs> I got mixed up there. You're right. Whoa. Okay, there's some beams over there. Yeah, I remember doing that. I remember in previous games I would use a Talon Flame for that. My Flame Body Talon Flame. Hey, Rabombe. I remember. Shake the tree. Go be bop. You have your Chandelure. That works. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to transfer my Talon Flame over to here. Dang it. Another school vet. Another school vet. Run away! Run away! Picks up one Koba Berry and one Citrus Berry. A wheeze or coughing over there, sorry. I'm losing my mind. There's a Sock. Who is a- Oh, he's charging! He's charging something fierce. And a Purloin too. Whoa. Oh, there's a max raid battle over there. Okay, let's go get these watts from these dens to upgrade this bike. Help make travel faster. Oh, there's a Galissapod. My oh my. It's really cool seeing all these Pokemon in the wild area. Whoa. Who did I just run into? Zigzagoon. <laughs> ran into a Zigzagoon, it seems. Run away! Alrighty, who's in this den over here? Um, normal and the three stars there in that shape? It looked almost like a standard form Zigzagoon. It's kind of what it looked like. If I had to guess. Oh, there's a Seismitoad. My oh my. There's Elegiums. Interesting that Elegium made the cut into this game. There's the nursery. Some lots from this den. Uh, that's the what's his name? It evolves from Trutal. Still learning all the new names. I'm trying to zigzag through all these Pokemon, but it's so hard. It's so hard though. 
Run away. <laughs> nice, Aaron. Fitting music, of course. Oh, there's a thing here. Tiny mushroom. Free and the Thai rogues are so aggressive. It's unbelievable. They're so insanely aggressive. Got away safely, thank goodness. Whoa. Some golets. Oh, there's a bunch of dens over here. Hopefully that Machoke doesn't run to the three. Only one out of the four there. Isn't it supposed to be like a 50-50? Experimental results say otherwise. Out of very few experimental results, but still experimental results say otherwise. <laughs> Oh my goodness, these Steelix is coming out of nowhere. Such a biking hazard. It's insane. But yeah, that'd still be handy there. So, I mean, I don't know if there's anything specific that you'd... Well, you've probably beaten the game already. Probably doesn't really matter that much at this point, if I had to guess. Yeah, let's take those berries. It's a fierce snowstorm. A snowstorm's a brewing. I just want to see who's in that max raid done. Real quick. Who be it? What was that? Tranquil in a snowstorm. In a snowstorm, you say? Okay, who's here? 300 watts. Water ground. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I don't know if you're after anything specific. Makes sense. Once Pokemon Home comes out, I should have, like, everything. Yeah, you want to fight it here? It's only a three-star. Yeah, my Inteleon's still my strongest there. My Corviknight's getting closer, though, but my Inteleon is still viciously overleveled for the... for where I am in the game. <laughs> this is the case. Oh, am I not connected to online? Hold on, maybe that's my problem. So I like disconnected before. <laughs> In the middle of the battle. Service currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for any inconvenience. So can you not even trade right now? That also the case. Because <laughs> no wonder I disconnected earlier. Looks like feels bad. Have to arrange a trade another time. Big sad. We'll be back. Alrighty, we've done a full circle around this place, basically. At least of this half. On this walk, collecting adventure. But yeah, it'll have to be another time then, that sucks. <laughs> that was too bad. Okay, let's go talk to the bike guy over here again. Oh, there's another berry tree. Let's shake it. Got so many berries. So many berries. Shake it the more. Okay, quit. Quit shaking the tree. Nice, nice. Okay. Every time I see those little static sparks during the storm, I keep thinking that it's like Breath of the Wild on a boat to get hit by lightning. If you got a seed out, you could use one of them. Try to fill out your whole Pokedex. I don't know if I do. I might. I might have one in shield version. It prevents escape with shadow tag. This is sword version here. Sword specific. Okay, I don't have one in sword version. I must be getting mixed up with battling a seed out or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. It had to be this way. It had to be this way. It prevented escape with shadow tag. Yeah, let's go talk to this dude over here. He's a turtle. Man, I can't wait to be able to go through the water with my bike already. That'll be nice. But I still don't have that ability. So I still can't quite explore all of the wild area. Alright. Improve my bike. And yeah, I think I'm gonna need 5,000 for the final upgrade. Alright, let's try the Rotom Rally. 
Uh, the meetup spot. Push to the finish line while snagging big balloons. Okay. Looks like it's the same starting position. I can't start out with a speed boost. Why? Why ever not? Off we go. So it's the same initial path here. I'll watch out for those dudes this time. This time I'm aware. To watch out for them. Go, Claydol. I've got places to be. So many Pokemon in the way. Woo. Whoa. Oh, come on. It wasn't like a speed boost in Mario Kart where it just speeds you up immediately. Oh, come on. Man, I can't imagine people trying to get like world records and something like this. I'm sure it's already happening. This way we go. We're still going to the right. But it's like the same-ish path then. This way. Where to now? This way. This way we go. I heard a stuffle in the grass over there. I heard them. Got so much extra time. Wee. Where to now? This way. Jump for the diggers be. Oh, so that's the meeting spot right at the beginning there. I see, I see. Shame how it doesn't teleport you back over to that dude there. There we go. Cross the finish line. Congratulations. Feel free to try again anytime. Amazing, you've earned over 20,000 points. It's a little souvenir for the occasion. Oh, we got a Volt Switch. Nice. Cool. And I gained some watts from that. Oh, we can do a Rotom rally here. Are there different routes? Huh. Well then. Maybe there's a few of these then here and there. Oh, you can't start out with a boost and that bums me out. Bums me out there. Where to now? We're going all the way around the lake. I like the music that goes with it. <laughs> oh my goodness, the sandstorm. Of course there had to be a sandstorm right now. It's so hard to see that balloon off in the distance, this red one. There you go, that was a quick one. Cross the finish line. Congratulations, feel free to try again anytime. Oh, I guess there's probably only the two TMs. So I guess there's these Rotom Rally guys were all over the place then. Huh, in these three checkpoints it looks like. If I had to guess. Seems very much like, all right, let's go ahead and try to get false swipe quickly before we wrap things up. Hammerlock, I think it's in Hammerlock. Is it? But I also swear I got a TM here already. Maybe it's uh, there's a Thema Bob here, Hyper Potions, nice. Hmm. Oh, it's from one of the shops. Okay, then I probably don't have it in shield yet then. Huh. So can you just get TMs from Pokemon Center shops or something? I don't think I've done that yet. Not there. Most likely not from the Pokemon Center shops, since this one is probably just Pokeballs and healing items and such. Yeah, not here. The other one on the west, the other Pokemon Center? I could check it. Hey, I heard the Rotom sound that said the charge was up. There we go, jeez. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> oh, there was a glowy thing out there. If they have, this one's probably just gonna be Pokeballs and healing items. Yeah, the exact same as that other one there. But this one... Oh yeah, we sell technical machines here. No false swipe there. Got a whole bunch of weather-based ones. None of these seem really useful to me, but I'm gonna get them all anyway, because they're permanent. <laughs> I'm gonna get everyone. Chandelure is the coolest fire type. I disagree. Chandelure is weird. 
previously than properly. No, it's in one of them, in one of the Pokemon Center shops. I thought I picked it up somewhere in Shield, but I might be losing my mind then. Must be going absolutely crazy. So, like... Yeah, I could try going to... Motostoke here. Let's go to the west one immediately. This is what we can do. Let's check these shops. Also, I might have some items that I can sell. Probably not a lot, but a few. Why are you trying to control the Pokeshop market? Because stonks. I'm here to sell. Like... Can I sort these right now? No? Okay, like, what are some things that are meant to be sold? Like, do I have any pearls or something? Oh, I do have a Firestone already. Cool. Like, did I by chance pick up a pearl along the way? Wow, I never even did. Oh, I have a treasures tab. <laughs> Ingredients. Oh, treasures! So this is stuff that's meant to be sold, then. It seems, then. Oh, that's not meant to be sold. What happens if you try to sell it? Oh, you actually can. Let's not do that. <laughs> Most of it, a few aren't. We sold at a high price to shops. Yes, please. Sold at a high price to shops. Sold at a low price to shops. Low price to shops. Uh, high price to shops. Oh my, very high price to shops. This will help fund buying TMs. High price to shops. So the low price to shop. Maybe we'll keep the honey. Just in case it's used for something else. Popular with collectors. Are there maybe some collectors that I can give it? That too. This guy. Oh, did I talk to the wrong one? This one. Technical machines. Yeah, false swipe is here. I'm literally losing my mind then. I'm going absolutely crazy. Let's get a whole bunch of TMs that I'm never going to use, ever. Well, I'll get them anyway. Because completion percentage. But yeah, I can give that one to uh, Gallade then. We can now teach it Thunder Wave and that. Got another ditto. I can't wait to transfer over my 6IV Mazuda Method ditto once home is out. That's what I can't wait for. What would helping hand? It's such a useless move because at least going through the main story because double battles are so uncommon. So it just wastes the move slot for hoping that you get double battles. Let's organize these TMs, how about? Yeah, look at all these TMs we got. Is there anything that I want them to learn? Uh, Boltandari is Nuzzle, which is better anyway. Well, Ditto transformed into Zamazenta. Scared now. Okay, I saw a video recently where somebody hacked the game trying to knock out the legendaries at the beginning. Like, during the first encounter of the game. And looks like it's quite literally impossible under normal circumstances, no matter what you do. Like, there's only one thing that damages them at all, and it's weather when it was activated by an ability. Fighting type legendaries, how well cam. But apparently, the only way in the glistening weld, or whatever the heck it's called, I've completely forgotten, not glistening weld, but <laughs> something else, whatever it's called. Uh, the glimmering weld? I don't remember. But wherever you slumbering weld, what the heck am I thinking with G there? Yeah, when you first encounter the legendaries there at the beginning of the game, like all moves have no effect against it. Even one-shot kill moves, even after you do something like lock on to guarantee it hits. Like it lands, it just doesn't do anything. The only way they get damage is off of weather, like hail, but only if it was activated by a Pokemon ability, like the Pokemon comes out and that weather comes out. Like Obama Snow Snow Warning, for example, that damages them. But because it's over in three turns anyway, you can't do anything. But if you hack the game so that the weather one-shots, you can knock out the legendary. It faints, it says you won the battle, then it gives you one experience to all your Pokemon, and then continues playing as if you were defeated by it, or you lost it. 
as normal. And thinking about Ditto, uh, they did a follow-up video where there was a Ditto that they did it on. So they got to see the moves of the legendary there. And apparently in sword version, it has like five uses of each move, since it's like the question mark, question mark, question mark version of the Pokemon. And it's like sacred sword, protect, stuff like that. Or something along those lines. Could learn a U-turn with Corviknight. If we wanted. Bolt switch could be handy. Could always do that there. Sword one uses close combat. Maybe it had close combat there? I don't remember. It was just five uses of every move. Like five out of five. Of moves that are supposed to have way more than... Five uses to them normally. Because it was the weird specific version of it made. That's labeled as question mark, question mark, question mark in the game's files. You know. Is there anything here that I'd really want? I don't think so. Fortnite's probably a physical attacker, if I had to assume. So probably better off with Steel Wing and such. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna fast travel to where we're gonna need to be for next time anyway. Is that what we can do? And maybe head out into the beginning of the wild area and wrap. Wrap things up with some camping, how about? <laughs> how about we wrap up with some camping?